G'day. Today's video is about a modification I made to my large lathe that allows me to power feed big drills like inch and a quarter sort of diameter. Oh look, it's been so long since I've been in the shed. Water's got all over everything. It's condensation off the roof. I don't visit the shed enough these days. But once upon a time, I used to have to spend a lot of time out there. So the lathe cleaned up all right. Right, now to fit this modification, you first have to take off the top slide. Get that out of the way. And this is a large cast iron block. Made of cast iron because that's the best sort of thing to use for this type of job. Long time since I've fitted this, as you can tell, the way I'm messing around. The cross slide is drilled and tapped and drilled and reamed for these dowels to fit into place to hold it nice and firm and in the same place every time. The number 5 Morse taper that's in the block was drilled after it was fitted to the carriage so everything was nicely aligned. cross slide is also drilled so a, a dowel can be put in it to hold it on centre as you'll see shortly there's the holes for the dowel and the piece of rag is just to stop any swarf getting down into the ways of the cross slide Here's the block in place. I think it's an inch and a quarter drill going in there. And that little bolt on top there is just to lock down on the tang to stop it spinning if the drill gets jammed in the work and would ruin the Morse taper. This makes drilling so easy in these bigger sizes. This is just a piece of delving that I needed that size hole in. But I'll drill a piece of aluminium in a minute, which is what I used to drill all the time. Right, all my drills are backed off. This one was not backed off enough, which is why it grabbed. You can see there's not very much grinding away of the point there. Should have been using this one, which is ground off a lot more. Stop some grabbing. Like we used to do all the time for drilling brass. Back in the olden days. Here's some aluminium. It's machine grade aluminium. And I'm going to drill it exactly the same revolutions and feed as I just did the del ring. And you engage the power feed and there it goes. If I've managed to uh, cut that chatter out, good. But it was chattering at quite a high frequency. Just put a bit of WD-40 on it to help the drill along a bit. Yes, and if you're using a tailstock to drive this in, you'd get pretty tired fairly quickly. 
I know, because I tried it. That's why this block came into being. A few times driving a drill like that through and your arm wants to fall off. And there's a boring bar fitted to the block. That's a three mil cut. When I, when I was doing this regularly and feeling adventurous, I used to take five mil cuts. This is when I first found out that the rake on those aluminium inserts is so severe, the part can actually be dragged forwards out of the chuck. Fortunately, I was aware of this before anything actually flew out of the chuck. But I did have things move forward on me. That's the amount of force that's generated by that 20 degree rake angle. And this is what I used to make. It's a gas mixer for a car, um, automobile, whatever. The casting has an oval flange, so that was done for me by Old Foundryman, who makes excellent castings. This is a gravity die cast unit. Um, I made the pipe, the nuts, and the venturi. And you can see the aluminium casting machined really well got quite a good finish on it so that's why I needed one of those blocks to hold a drill thank you for watching